What's good? You are now rocking with the bigs. Thanks for bearing with me. My name is Harry Power. Week three, season two. Only right we sit down with the one and only Jalen Johnson. Jalen, what's good, man? What's happening, Mike? Regular, man. Regular. Appreciate you chopping it up with me, man. I'm glad to get you in here because it's been a hell of a week up here, man. Like, there's a lot, a lot going <laughs> on up say. here. We ain't gonna get to none of the to the, none of the details, but uh, obviously we had you know you know Justin at his press conference and then the, the DC resigned, Coach Williams resigned. Uh, you being a, a star corner and leader on this team in general, but especially the defense. Any concerns about you know changing DC's midseason, or it's kind of early? But. Well, I said no, nah, it's still kind of early. So I mean, honestly, for for us, for me personally, I think it's. It's something that we can adapt to. It's a good, it's a good change. And I mean, I feel like even like for the head coach, I mean, he came in, he wanted to install his defense. Right, so I mean, right. Allen was was calling the plays and things like that. But I mean, the head man was definitely involved. So now him coming and taking over the whole the whole thing isn't isn't a hard transition at all. Uh, I can dig it. Then uh, Justin had a press conference this week, and he was talking about playing more free, right? Yeah. And then, you know, and some of the. Uh, words he used and then some of the things that went on with the press day after kind of took on a life of its own. He ended up calling another press conference later on that mm -hmm. day. It's the whole situation that I blame you for, sir. You went on the radio and you was like, bro code. He just needed to do his thing and play free. Yeah, fuck. And then he came in there and doubled down. No, no. Yeah, you kicked it off. You, yeah, you, the, one, I, you the one kicked that off. Yeah, I'm keeping it real. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like you can you can see the difference when, when he's playing free. And I mean, granted, wherever that issue is of the reason why he's not, I mean, sure. that, that that's for up for debate or sure. for somebody's own own conversation. But I feel like at the end of the day, I I, I know what type of quarterback he is and yeah. the type of quarterback he can not be. And when you out there and you see him not being himself, I mean, there's some some definitely going on. So I mean, just just trying to do my part really in pushing him to be himself. I mean, even in the games and practice, just giving him friendly reminders like, hey, bro, like, keep, keep going, keep being yourself, keep doing your thing. So, I mean, it's, it's more so just trying to pick him up more so than anything else. <sighs> Hell of a week to, to be going through so much. And the team also got left tackle with Braxton Jones going IR this week, and y'all headed mm -hmm. into Arrowhead to yeah. face the defending champs led by their future Hall of Fame quarterback and <laughs> Pat Mahomes, man. Uh, big challenge this week. How y'all feeling going into it? Is it like this us against the world type thing with so much stuff swirling around y'all? I mean, it's always like that, especially I feel like just like within the players in the locker room. I mean, we got before all of this stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, we're on a what a 12, 13 game losing streak. So I mean, just for us, we're just trying to bear bear together, and I think it'll be one heck of a way to break break that losing streak to get our first win this season to go up in Arrowhead, despite all the distraction, despite all the noise that's going on around us, to really go into their place and, and to beat those guys. I feel that'll be a good tone setter for, for our team, especially for our defense, and we're gonna have to show out up there for sure. No, nah, most definitely, man. We was, we was joking around in the locker room yesterday, and I was talking about, man, if you get a chance to, to get your hands on the ball from mm -hmm. 15, you gotta keep that one, man. Yeah, you know nah, that's, <laughs> it was funny, I was just looking at my Joe Burrow uh, football last yeah. night, I was like, nah, I gotta add one. At least one more to that. So I mean, I'm I'm hoping I get some some chances to, to get the ball. Nah, that's dope, man. You've been a leader on this team for a while, just in terms of kind of the, the mentality. And when y'all go through yeah. rough stretches, you all you always the one that's willing to kind of talk to the media, and but also just mm -hmm. remain yourself. You don't really yeah, get too fact. up, too down. You just kind of chill. And I think that's gonna be needed for for the whole team yeah. in terms of how you go about leading it, man. Justin. I, when he, I sat down with him a couple of weeks ago right here in this chair, and we was talking about him being 24 and all the pressure mm -hmm. that's on him. They put yeah, the whole facts. city on his shoulders. He's like 24 years old. Um, how have you dealt with, with fame and adjusted to it as, as you know, your career has gone on? Honestly, I feel like I've never let it really, like, I would say correct me or come on to me, like, a, in a sense of fame and anything like that. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm... I'm in this position for for a greater purpose, and I think God has me where where I'm in where I'm at for a reason. And I fight at the end of the day that's to give Him glory and everything that I'm doing, whether that's giving back, whether that's leading the guys that's here in the building closer closer to God. I mean, there's there, there's a reason why I'm here, and I think for me, I don't I don't lose sight of that. Yeah. And I mean, all the what I the fame or the money and all that. It's like everything that I'm getting, the platforms that I'm on is not for my own glory. So I mean, I don't get. I don't get too caught up in it. I mean, at the end of the day, I bleed how everybody else bleed. I mean, I don't, I'm not perfect at my job. Like, nobody is perfect at their job. So, I mean, I just keep all that in perspective. And at the end of the day, I mean, I, I serve one one God. And, I mean, that's that's the only thing I, I'm focused on. I don't really care too much about the outside noise and anything like that. So, I mean, I just continue to 
get better, continue to grow within myself, continue to lead the guys around me because I'm 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 here for a purpose. No, I dig that, man. How is Zavea, man? How how <laughs> how's your daughter doing? Uh, how old is she now? She's three. I feel like she's thirteen. She about to be four though. Three in going on thirteen. Yeah, huh? She's smart. <laughs> she advanced. Like conversation she has is like, man, ain't no way you three, three years, years old. old. Like, she she she's different. She beyond her years, man. Attitude, body language, just things. I mean, I'll call like she'll call me, I won't answer or something, and then I'll call her back. She's like, Dad, why you didn't answer my call? I'm like, little girl, like, who you talking, talking to? to? <laughs> Type of things. So, I mean, I be telling like, man, I'm still the daddy. Like I'm at work, but hey, I'm still the daddy. Like yeah, I, you you got this iPad because of me. Like man. so I mean, but now nah, she she's good. She's she's a blessing to everybody that she comes around. She just we want to continue to grow and needs and needs that mold and needs that good father and mother mother figure in their life to continue to push her in the direction that she needs to go. I was as I was, you know, just doing my homework and getting ready for this interview, it's it's Avea's auntie with Yamis? Yeah, in fact, that's the all family. I ain't I ain't I yeah, didn't put all that together yeah, until yeah, a little yeah. while ago. I'm now, like, her her cousins are Giannis's kids. So her so my the mother of my child right. is the sister of Giannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was I was I was reading all that. Yeah, it's all the same same family. Like Michaela and like I'm like yo. Yeah, yeah fact fact yeah. So <laughs> I, I mean I me me and Giannis real cool real familiar with each other. I, like they'll come down to Milwaukee and do like Christmas or stuff yeah, at his yeah, house. Yeah. So there's been times where I went down went down there and went to a few games or whatever. So I mean we're definitely really acquainted and things like that. So I mean it's definitely a lot of mutual respect there. No, that's what's up, man. That's super cool. All right, let's get to some of this important stuff, man. How proud are you of, are, are you of your waves? Oh, 100%. Hey, <laughs> hella <laughs> proud. I've never no seen cap. nobody be so charged about their waves, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. They all the way in there for real. I ain't going to lie. Like, since I cut my hair, I'm like, I want, like, Instagram, like, viral waves. Like, that was my goal for real. Like, I was like, man, if I'm going to have, like, I feel like you just can't cut your hair and, like, just have and your just hair any be. kind of way. Like, right. nah, I am need, need people to, like, hey, I don't know. Like, even if you don't know what waves are, it's like, that looks good. So, I mean, that's what I aim for, for real. I mean, I, sometimes I let it go, won't brush for a little bit. And I'm like, nah, I'm tripping. I got to get back. I'll get my waves right, get my washer style back in there, get my waves back yo, in there yo, deep. Your yo, yo flat pad or whatever you call yeah, it? Yeah, I got it all. I mean, I got the, I put the oils, I don't really put too much grease. I put the good oils in there, brush it. Put the flat pad, lay it all down, put the do-rag on. Nah, I got, I got it all down. Nah, you, I wash and style about two, three times a week. Keep them right. You be cra yeah, you, yeah. Came in, you came in your press conference a couple months ago and gave everybody mm -hmm. a little tutorial. Yeah, they needed that What's for the culture. What's this a do-rag? Yeah, What's this a yeah. brush? But you had me be on the flat pad. Why you calling me out? Like, why did you look? I don't, all the people that be in there, why you look at me like, you know what this is? Because you the brother. You, I figured you you would know. But, I mean, they don't really know because it started really like, I know, in, in jail, they used to just have, like, the grocery bags or yeah, things truth. like that. And they'll just truth. use that. So, I mean, now it's just more more technology to man. it. Just a little pad with a little cushion on the back. But that's about it. Now you be cracking me up with that, man. I'll get you up out of here on this one. But I've been asking everybody that said, hey, we did mm -hmm. uh, more last week. Is who got the best style on the team? Like top three. Style? Yeah, just swag, how y'all put y'all stuff on, put your pieces together. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm coming for the top spot. I've been stepping. Okay. I've been stepping. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go two. I still I'm, I'll still put Bojack on one. Bojack, okay. Bojack be putting it, be putting it on. Okay. That's style. been pretty consensus so far. Um who's three? Who's three? Who's three? It's tough because I feel like people got different little styles. That's tough for three. I ain't gonna lie, that's tough. All right, we just leave you and Bojo got the top. Yeah, man. I would say I can say Who, that for sure. Let's flip it. Who got the worst style on the team? Players Who? only. Come have you come. You know what I'm <laughs> Apparently, we throwing coaches under the bus this what? week. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like my man. I ain't gonna say the worst style. It's just funny. The, uh, our coach, the nickel coach, Coach Da or David Overstreet. Yeah. He be coming there with the jerseys every weekend. So far, he was having different jerseys on. We just be laughing because he kind of buff too, though. Yeah, yeah. So like, you come in here with all these muscles out, <laughs> with these jerseys on. But I mean, he be trying to put it on, but that, the jersey just be getting. Hey, he funny, Joe. Yeah, he be, nah, he be he the only one you can, you can hear his voice in practice all the time. He man. yelling. He on charge. Last week, or it might have been this week, actually, they got to play Atomic Dog out there. He yeah, got to hop in yeah, the middle of the field. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He, he gets go to go and get in his element when they put that on. He be on charge. What about on the team? What about one of your teammates? Who 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 <sighs> need help, Joe? Who don't care at all how they come outside? Oh, honestly, that's tough. The worst way. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't even. 
think of the worst. It has to. To me, honestly, I feel like by default, it got to be a lineman. Okay, so true. That's, that's, that's what Justin but and Moon said so far. It, it got to be I'm a lineman. I'm trying to see if y'all come with the same one. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I feel like Tevin probably be coming with me. <laughs> I feel like I seen Tevin. Hey, that's what I was just saying. I feel too. like Tevin probably just put on some regular Levi jeans and bands uh, and a little little hoodie or something or a little shirt. Y'all gotta leave my man Tevin alone, but that's exactly who Justin said it to. Yeah. You like Tevin. I'll man. probably say a oh, line. Nah, man, listen, man, I appreciate you sitting down and chopping yeah. it up with me, man. I know y'all super, super busy. Y'all in a little bit of a stretch right now. It's early. Y'all can turn that mm-hmm. thing around. I expect y'all to, man. But again, man, I just appreciate you for taking yes, the time. Yes, sir. Bro. All Stay good. Up. Appreciate it. That is Jalen Johnson, week three, episode three, season two of Bear With Me. Appreciate y'all tuning in for the Bigs Media. My name is Herb Howard. Sus. <laughs> <laughs>